what's up everybody my name is Trophy at the babbling belgian and welcome back to fallout 4 survival with louise in her shiny new xo1 armor so last time we uh kind of picked that up but as you might have noticed we're no longer at hangman's alley that's because i've been doing a lot of preparing for our next few parts i've been gathering a lot of supplies and upgraded the xo1 armor to have emp shielding across the entire thing uh, and I also got the, since we got the local leader perk last time, I've also been using that to create supply lines and make our network of settlements a bit more connected. So we can use the uh, supplies from all over the place. So um, I don't think, I, I managed to upgrade the armor a little bit, but we need a lot of supplies. I'm actually going to show you, uh, that's the light. Let's get out of the armor. And as you can see, we have a Mark V torso, which we already had, the Mark IV helmet, and then everything has EMP shielding. Um, the left leg is also Mark V, and that's basically it. So three more pieces that we need to upgrade to Mark V. Sadly, the EMP shielding, since it is a paint, um, even though it is a paint, it doesn't change the appearance of the rusty armor, sadly. So maybe if we come across anything more fancy than that, we can uh, upgrade the look of our armor a bit more as well but we'll have to see about that you might also wonder how you can actually make a supply line well i've never made one from oberland station the one where we're, where we're at right now and since there are two people here i can actually assign one of them so as you can see there's a button now for it i can assign this settler to a supply line and say okay you can go to hangman's alley Yes, so now there's a link between uh, Oberland Station and Hangman's Alley. You can see the food drop down, but that's not too bad. I don't think I'll be able to put down some defenses here. Um, oh, I do actually have the requirements for some turrets. Oh yeah, because I made the uh, yeah I made the connection now, so that's going to be good. So let's make one heavy machine gun turret and put it over here, and that gives us enough defense. To protect this little settlement okay so the next thing i wanted to show you just uh just a, a sneak peek of is that i actually already cleared out the alien ship that crashed but i wanted to show you the alien ship just in case you haven't seen it yet because it's right next to it's right next to oberland station my voice went there for a second uh, i already killed the alien to get the alien blaster but if you go over here you can see the ship there we go alien spaceship uh, if you follow those green bloodstains, you'll get to uh, a cave that's right behind the ship. And if you go in there, you can kill the alien and grab the alien blaster. I have it in my inventory. I just want to show you the, the cave there. there, there there's the cave. So there you go, green bloodstain right there. The alien is pretty easy to kill. Kill it in one shot with the sniper rifle. But from him, you get the alien blaster. And there we go, the alien blaster. So 90 damage, which is pretty good. And 297 alien blaster rounds. I'm actually gonna favorite this thing. I don't know how it stacks up to Righteous Authority. So Righteous Authority is 79. Um, and the alien blaster is 90. So it is. it does less damage than Kallax Pistol. But I think the fire rate might be a lot higher. Yeah, 100. So let's favorite that at the top. So we have three pistols now. And it actually has a lot of ammo in the clip as well, which is going to be nice. I'm going to just rock this thing for a bit, because it looks pretty nice. The uh, idea for today is that we're going to do some more exploring. I don't have a specific idea what we're going to do, aside from the fact that we're going to go to Vault 83, I think it is. Uh, because it's one of the only areas around Hangman's Alley that I now have neglected to check out. So the location of the vault is pretty easy to spot. It is right next to this uh, giant vault deck billboard, which is of course fitting. And it is kind of protected by a barricade and a few shacks over there. Um, it's been a while since I've done this vault. I know I did it in my very original playthrough years ago. So I barely remember anything about this. So uh, we'll go in and we'll see what happens over there. I'm just going to check out. It's 81. It's 81. I'm, st I'm still an idiot. It's it's 81. So let's just check around a little bit. So I had to nip back quickly to uh, Oberland Station because I was still carrying like 40 pounds of junk from uh, my last run. So 
Let's see, are there more this ammo here? I started gathering ammo, but I think on the regular playthrough episodes, I'm just gonna leave the ammo as the as it is. And uh, we'll head into Vault 81. So if you've played any Fallout game, you know that the vaults are basically uh, testing grounds for vault Tech, where they try always try to do some sort of social experiment, or scientific experiment at least. Um, and today will probably not be anything different, but uh, yeah, I well, guess we'll explore and find out the story for ourselves. Let's just plug that in. Don't need to do the Hold animation. Right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. Ooh, there's somebody here. I'm from Vault 111. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Um, I'm, I'm looking to trade? Just looking to do a little trading. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh. Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am. Some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Uh-huh. Okay. Let me to them. So we need to gain access to the vault. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. Okay, so uh, I'm interested. I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores, we grant the access. Okay, so that's a bit of a gamble. I have them, but I only have eight left. So that means that if I give them away, um, I have five left. Okay, maybe I can steal some from them. <laughs> I already have the fusion cores you need. Really? Well then, I suppose I should say welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. Okay. So this is interesting. It got me access to the vault, but of course three less cores. Wait a second. Yeah, of course, they're not gonna... Yeah, they're not gonna magically disappear through the door, Vinny. Started Vault 81. Talk to Overseer McNamara. That's a, a lovely name. I'm just gonna put away the alien blaster. My guy's been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. You need a doctor. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Okay, so the vault is impressive. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for this long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Okay, um... I mean, interaction is pretty good. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. That's why I like to use a give-and-take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Can I say no now? No. Okay. Uh, put them to good use. Here you go. I'm sure you'll put them to good use. I won't, but Dr. Penske certainly will. Now? I have work to do. Most everyone here is very friendly with Commonwealth visitors. Although that power armor may make a few people nervous. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. I mean, if it weren't for the power armor, I wouldn't have the fusion cores. And that's the end of that quest already, apparently. I am starving and thirsty. So of course, every bit of supplies in here is stealing. So before we can actually take some of these things, because these things would be really nice material-wise, we're gonna have to talk around a little. Hey, power armor? There's something you don't see every day. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. Okay, um, you, you should be prepared though. It takes some preparation. I'd learn how to use a gun and be ready to use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now, I can't even say if our security has seen any real combat, but with the hours we're working these days, I'm not even sure where I'd find the time to practice. 
Okay. Um, hard work pays off, of course. Hard work pays off. And you guys are maintaining the vault, right? Trying to, at least. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. So vault Tech may have made solid vaults, but most of the experiments here were horrifying. Although, it seems like these guys are doing pretty okay. Um, so I wonder what their original goal was, because usually these vaults are created with a specific goal in mind. So we've talked to Miranda and Neil, no and now we have variation. Resident. 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 Yeah. I'm not going to talk to the Resident. Uh, it's so that kitty cat. This is the first time I've ever Damn seen it. it. Aaron's not going to like this. But the cat is still here. The, the cat is still here. Yeah, hi. Meow. Oh, there she goes. There she go. Oh, okay. Is the door still open? Guys! Guys, the cat! Guys, guys, stop the cat. Stop the ca cat. Managed to get out of the vault. I mean, you just let her walk past you. Dude! Asshole! You just let her walk out. I mean, I just let her walk out, but yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to the person who wants me to save the cat, I assume. I love how the lights just turn on every time I pass by them. Cat got loose in the common oh, come on, you just saw her pass. Don't need to rub it in. That is... These guys are assholes. Okay, this gets me into... Hi. I don't want to hear any negative reports about you, outsider. D did we talk already? I think we talked already, right? He's not going to be... Yeah, he's not going to say anything. Okay, fair enough. Let's move Never forward. I had an incident on my watch, and I don't want to start today. Well, well, you just let a cat escape. I, I feel like that's an incident on your watch. Shame on you. Okay, we took the elevator down. And then this looks, yeah, this looks very pretty. And there is... Hey, are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am, Austin. Um, <laughs> sarcastic, yes. No, I'm from the moon. Still got cheese on my shoes. I guess that was a dumb question. But I bet it's your first time here. I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Uh, sure, show me around. Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. Well, she's, Start over here. She's definitely gonna flip since, you know, her cat is, is gone and all. Hi. Hi. Hi, sir. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Erin and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. Okay, the Combs family. Um, fight about what exactly? What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Ooh. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. So that's probably exactly what he went to do now. Ooh, and Raiders. I bet you fought Raiders too. Yeah, lots of raiders. Pop their heads off, their limbs off, um, turn them into ash, or in a, a, a giant steaming pile of goo, or just whack them in the face with something hard. The overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. She seems very nice for an overseer, so uh, she's probably corrupt. Overseer, huh? I suppose someone needs to be in charge. Well, if you need her, that's where you'll find her. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The Somersets are nice though. You'll like them. Okay, so we have the Combs and the Somersets. Is Tina part of the Somersets? Because I feel like we're gonna see a limited number of families here. And, uh, ooh, it is actually pretty well stocked. How do they make these vegetables? That's interesting. Austin, I see you're showing our guest from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. So I needed to turn off the radio just because of the copyright strikes otherwise. So, um, good to know. And the rest of the food? How is their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Yeah, they were. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Rain makes me comb it. Is that a... I mean, we're both redheads. 
Is that a, a dig at that? Oh, no, we're just going to the barber. Never mind. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, there we go. Barber. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Gran hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. Okay. So, uh, good to know. If I ever need a new cut haircut, my throat. I'll come here. I hate getting my hair cut. Next stop is Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Okay. So we know about the relationship trouble between um, Mr. Combs and somebody named Tina. Hi, Gran. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering her. I'm helping her. Hmm. That's Gran. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Pensky. She acts all grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. Aha. Uh -huh. So that makes sense. Uh, so nothing from the outside then. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Grand grows it all here. She's really smart. Hmm. Next stop, Miss Katie. Okay, Miss Katie, I'll just move out of the way, Austin. Hurry up. I'm, I'm her. The other side of the vault. Okay. Where I go to school. I bet you did. Damn. To go to school. What? Uh, no. Not, not in the vault because we were frozen for over two hundred years. <laughs> That, that was not really an option. This place is big, by the way. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time. But Gran says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. Um, but why aren't you in school right now? Are there lots of kids? Are there a lot of kids in the vault? Not that many. The overseer says that we're using population control. Whatever that is. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Grant makes me. I'm gonna have trouble remembering all these names, by the way. Yes, we, we just keep going. This place is huge. Come on, Austin, go. I'm sorry I bumped into you. That's probably why you stopped in the middle of the stairs. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, you come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Okay. Um, good to know. Good to know. If I need help, I'll come here. I hope you don't mind needles. They poke at you a lot in here. Now we go see Erin. She's gonna be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. I mean, I can't imagine that Austin doesn't know about the fact that Erin's cat is missing since every single person I saw upstairs. Thought, you know what, that actually Comes with a good point. Who the hell brought the cat up the elevator? Because there was nobody coming up at that time. Um, okay, they're gonna bump into each other. Hello, who are you? Resident. A resident with red hair. And there's another radio in here, so I'm quickly gonna turn it off. Whoa! A real life Commonwealth person. You dress funny. Yeah, that's power well, armor. Hello. I wish my mom and dad wouldn't fight so much. Okay, so this is the daughter of the two people that ran the commissary. Talk to my mom if you want something fixed. Wait, but your cat is missing. I, I mean, she doesn't even care about the cat. That is very bad. Oh, crap. Um, Austin? Crap. I think I... Oh, there he is. He's at school. Good. Um, hi, Austin. Austin? Hold up, How Austin. How so far? Uh, sh show me more, I suppose. It's great. Keep going. See? I knew you'd like it. I don't know why he's sitting down. Um, he's supposed to show me more, but I think he just went to school right now. Let's talk to Miss Katie to me in the meanwhile. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Uh, yes, I have. I've had a few interesting moments. Stop being so modest. My kids would love to hear about anything you've done out in the Commonwealth. Would you mind talking to them and sharing one of your experiences? Oh, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, it's too graphic. Uh, I suppose. I suppose I could tell them a few. I won't let them take up too much of your time. Okay. Short stories. Yay. So, K Katie looks pretty nice, by the way. Uh, hello, Katie. This will be a rare treat for the kids. Okay. 
and how how do I how do I yeah okay do, I mean I mean hey Katie the children will be very excited to hear about the Commonwealth well fair okay, I'm gonna check out the Commonwealth if my grand lets me is she gonna do something now she needs to go sit maybe so I have two I'm quests to what you'll have to say yeah, I know, but there's two quests that are literally broken right now. So Austin is stuck at his desk and Katie is doing, I don't know what she's doing. Just, just standing here. Hi, do I need to use the projector or something? Bump, 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 bump. Someday, I'm going to check out the Katie, off. I can't I wait to see how excited the kids will be. For fuck's sake, Katie, I'm going to leave. <laughs> Okay, let's see. The other thing that we heard about was a bit of a kerfuffle between somebody called Tina and Mr. Holcomb. Uh, let's just talk to Rachel. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Uh, no, no, no. But do you have many patients? Do you get a lot of patients in the vault? No. The people of this vault are surprisingly healthy. If that's all, I have work to do. They are surprisingly healthy. So why are there two people over here if there's not a single issue at all? Okay, um, I'm just going to leave the power armor for here for a moment. To see if I can go uh, talk to the school like this. Since maybe it's the power armor that breaks stuff. Alston, get off your fat ass and continue the tour. God. Damn you! Okay, so th those quests are still broken. Wait, Austin woke up. Uh, yeah, show me more. Keep going. See, I knew you'd like it. She's looking pretty bad. Okay, do I need to still follow Austin then? Because I feel like he's not walking his speed that he should be walking. Wait, so all aboard. I don't actually have a detailed quest here, so I have a miscellaneous one to follow Austin. And I'll still do that, but I'm not sure that he still works. Because we've been in here. Okay, so I've just stopped the tour, which uh, completed the uh, side objective. I'm going to just keep it at that. Uh, maybe I can go... I'm, I'll go to the school one more time to see if I can do anything with it. Nope, Katie is still broken. So I need to do this at a specific... Ah, there we go. We do get the quest for the cat now. Have you seen my cat? Uh, yeah, she she left the vault. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. Uh, sure. Hey, I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. I love how the quest is just find Ashes. Period. How the hell are we gonna find a cat in the Commonwealth? That is gonna, yeah, that's gonna be problematic. I can't seem to get the potatoes right. Very little discoloration. Strong cellular plant structure. Uh, okay. Oh dear, I seem to have misplaced one of my instruments. Where could it be? I'll have to see how it holds up to exposure. Okay, she lost her mind as well, great. Um, then we have Horatio the Barber. Don't think these guys will tell me something. Must be rough living out there. I heard Alexis promise one to Erin, and I know how you hate to disappoint the little ones. Marcus William Somerset. Oh, don't you go on thinking you're so clever. Those pies are going to be for Calvin and his crew. Lord knows they could use a treat right now. Hey, you tried telling that to Erin and breaking a little girl's heart. I didn't realize my wife was so cold-blooded. Mark, I swear, over 40 years of marriage, you need to count your blessings you're still alive. Another new face in the vault, eh? What is it we're needing now, Missy? Uh, um, fusion cores, apparently. I gave some fusion cores to the Overseer. Fusion cores? <laughs> Must be for something high-tech. I was hoping for a crate of mute fruit myself. The people here, they're a bit overworked these days. Some blame the Overseer. But it ain't Gwenny's fault. Poor girl. Just landed the right position at the wrong time. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? Why are people so overworked? Well, you live in the same place for 200 years. Time just takes its toll. 
Until the overseer opened the vault to the traitors, we were just slapping on one band-aid after the next. Now we're just scrambling to keep old 81 together. I mean, she looks pretty good, but that's of course because it's been maintained so uh, thoroughly by these people. I'm sure she's doing her best. I know she is. She's a smart gal. And maintaining this bucket of bolts ain't easy. Well, I'd best be getting back to it. Don't want the old lady on me again. 62 years old and still fiery as ever. Okay, so that was Mark Somerset, and then we can talk to Maria you Somerset. You that new traveler Gwen let in. It's always nice to see a new face around here. D does it? Um, what can you tell me about Gwen? Who's Gwen? Oh, Gwen's the overseer. But I could never get used to calling her that. I've known that girl since she was in diapers. If you need any food for the road or just feeling hungry, you let me know. Our menu isn't quite as exotic as the Commonwealth, but it'll do in a pinch. Okay, so not interested for now, but... Not today. That's all right, honey. If you're hungry later, stop by. I mean, does, does this face look like a face you can trust? Because it looks horrifying. I can't understand if people are scared of me. Hello, Gwen. Some can of we our talk? residents aren't as thrilled about outsiders as most. So please, don't think they speak for all of us. Hello, Overseer? Feel free to make the most of the services we offer while you're here. Okay, so it seems like the only quest I have at the moment is finding the cat. And there's more flipping music over here. Shut it off. Thank you. So I went back up to see uh, if we can get out of the vault and then talk to that little kid. Well, find a little kitty. I'm not going to talk to a cat. That would be crazy. Right, cats? Oh. Ah. I came outside and there's like a whole bunch of people and uh, well, it's basically an entire caravan outside here. But that's, that's fine. They're just traders. That is absolutely fine. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, this is deeper water than I expected. Hi. Hello. Hello, Ashes. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. Oh, there she goes. Meow. Bye, Ashes. See you in a second. That was actually pretty easy. So let's get back into the vault. I love how the cat just knows the way back and knows how to take an elevator, apparently. Uh, so let's talk to... Erin again, which is who's apparently, yeah, right next to her parents. And there we go, there's the cat. Got himself bit by a mole rat. So now they got us cooped up in here to watch Erin. It's ridiculous. You found him. Thanks, ma'am. I was so worried about him. Okay, so Austin just got, apparently Austin got bit by a mole rat, so he's in quarantine. Um, got, got a, you know, never, I don't need a reward. So you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Bad kitty. Ooh. I hope you don't I have anything so that needs fixing. I really don't and I feel bet like mom's working. gonna make me give you a I got a fusion core. Thank thanks. Thanks, Aaron. I don't know about why you didn't give that to the overseer. Um so we need to go okay. Ooh, we got idiot savant on a quest completion. So that's 420 experience. Thanks for that. And then we need to go to the doctor. The doctor? What's the doctor up there? Oh yeah, it's all the way downstairs. Kind of forgot about that. There we go. Let's go and see about Austin. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsyth. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something but these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault? Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius! A junkie genius! 
There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? Uh, sure. I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsyth. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow I don't, me. I don't know who these people are talking to, but it's not me. And Bobby has trouble navigating, probably because of the drugs. Hole in the wall. Okay, Bobby. Lead the way. Lead the way, buddy. Lead the way, Bobby. Bobby the Luca. So that's another family in here, then, I suppose. So the Somersets, the Combs, the, the Lucas. These things are getting interesting. But he's the, the drug yeah, addict. So it's in a... Yeah, go. Go. I suppose it's over here. Let's open that door for you. There we go. And then we need to go... Ooh, okay. There's a Mr. Handy in here. Oh, I can't steal all of this stuff. Let's go down here. And then... Is this a door? Okay. Interesting. Thanks, Bobby. Let's go in. Okay, so right into mole rat territory, I suppose. I should probably get rid of that dehydration. There we go. Still slightly thirsty, but I can deal with that. And um, yeah, this place is going to be filled with mole rats, I suppose. Um, hmm. Intruder, identify yourself. There's a protectron here as well, but there is purified water here. So it's a Protectron Watcher, which has a higher level Protectron than what we've seen so far. But he's probably upstairs. He's looking for me, but he hasn't detected me just yet. There is first aid here as well, so I'm just definitely going to grab all that. Stem packs are still useful in survival, even though they dehydrate you. But I, I, ba I barely use them, because of course, with the power armor, I'm pretty well defended. Pretty well protected. And yeah, this definitely seems like another area. There's even a bed here so I can sleep if I want to. Because all the other beds in the vault were, uh, well, not available to me. They didn't like me poking around. But there is a terminal in here that I can definitely poke around in. Aha, so they were breeding mole rats to create serums that can treat 36% of the known viruses. Um, only 90% of serums have the potential to be mass-produced. We have tossed our latest robot lab assistant to find ways to synthesize more of them efficiently. Okay, so they were making cures for viruses in this place. That seems awfully nice uh, of Voltec, which it usually is not the case. Uh, we have a machine gun third. Ooh, damn. I don't seem to be hitting it. Yeah. Oh crap. Oh god. Ah, uh, there's a there's the protectron. Um, let's just go with vats. Let's go with a, a critical first, and then the two other shots should probably kill it. There goes the protectron. Damn, these guys take a punch. I'm gonna grab a stim pack. I know I, I just said I, I don't use these often, but stim pack. Um, and that probably purified water. There we go. Better, but still parched. There we go. Okay. So the blaster, that was weird. It didn't do all that much damage. I'm going to continue using it for a little bit. I'll probably be able to uh, upgrade it as well. But I was hoping for a bit more damage. Although it might do less damage on robots. Because, of course, it's energy weapons. And I think robots have a... An aptitude for protection against energy damage. But plenty of bats around at least. I hear a lot more trouble in the next rooms. Which is going to be... Yeah, there we go. So for some reason I can't really hit it there. Uh, let's try it like this. Yeah, it's trying to hit the... Um, it's trying to hit the top part and it can't hit it for some reason. There we go. That actually got it in one hit. So, I'm guessing it does more damage than I think it does. So, judging from the amount of stuff that is still available in this place, I feel like this definitely was used at some point, but... I mean, somebody in the vault must know about this, because of course, they were clearly performing experiments over here. 
and it basically seems impossible to me that nobody of the fold actually knew that this existed. But this was the original um, purpose of the vault. No extra turrets just yet. And we still find a lot of useful items around, but no working terminals, so we can't really find out more. Because, of course, we now know what the goal of the facility was, but we still don't know what actually happened that ended it. I don't know. This... There's a mole rat sticking out of the hole there. I don't... This th is this thing dead? It is. Vault 81 lab mole rat. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm just going to slowly kill all of them. They're going to have to come up the stairs, so... Yeah, the alien blaster seems strong enough. There we go. Okay, I should probably just fire manually. More rat meat. More rat meat. I definitely need all that more rat meat. Because meat is food and food is life. There we go. That's probably the final one. But uh, knowing this game will probably be dealing with the brood mother in a second. I'm sure this whole thing is overblown. Uh -huh. Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. Okay, so wait a second. This lab... What the hell? They can absor uh, observe the, the lab's... In the normal vault. So observation station. The crop rotation implemented by the hydrophonics manager has proven successful for supplying the vault with adequate food. We have not had to intervene, which has eliminated the risk that the vault inhabitants would discover the secret part of the vault. So far they do not appear to suspect the true nature of their vault. The greenhouse would be a perfect place to introduce class C4 and D1 viruses into the population as well as potential cures should a disease get too virulent. I'm recommending installing hidden sprayers in the ceiling. Okay, so that's the real purpose of the vault. They wanted to try out viruses and diseases and then see if the, the cures actually work. That is, yeah, that's more in line with what vault Tech does. So, through a security gate, we now should be a level higher, and again... Well, this is gonna be a joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice, Holt. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Holt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. Ooh, idiot. Okay, so there we go. Another fight. Let's check out the depot observation terminal. So yeah, they realized that this was being used as a store, which was uh, perfect for them to observe any interaction between the citizens. And of course, also a perfect way to start uh, virus contamination. Um, it would also be valuable for observing the effects on disease of disease on social and economic relationships. This room will become a backup treatment location along with the commissary. The primary will still be the clinic under the assumption that severely ill patients will be taken there. So that explains why there is a clinic even though everybody seems to be perfectly healthy. So there's definitely a lot of shuffling going around. <laughs> but I feel like they're behind another security door. Um, other than that, this seems to be another room. You and your staff are to make sure every resident remains under stringent medical observation. Understood. But overseer. No buts. This is for the good of the vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsyth. Yes, overseer. How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Then let's hope that outsider pulls through and gets us a cure. So, they were even bugging the Overseer's office, making it seem like the Overseer was not really the boss of this vault. Although the Chief Scientist argued against an observation port in the Overseer's office, it has turned out to be a boon. We are able to observe the political shifts in governance since the vault door was locked. When we do introduce viruses to the population, we will be able to monitor the leadership's reactions and, of course, the courses of action. So, yeah. Definitely seems like a, a good option for the scientists to actually be able to check those out. Now, um, that's one. There's another one. That's, ooh, 
This one seems to be stronger for some reason. Not strong enough to... Oh, strong enough to withstand one of these though. There we go. I can deal with them if they come up the stairs. Or not. Or, or yes. Yes. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm still alive. That's good. God damn. I'm gonna have a lot of mole wrap meat, by the way. This is gonna be really, really nice. Another one over there in the back. And that hits something else again. This gun is really bad at hitting things in vats. And then back to the left. There we go. Okay. Yeah, god damn it. I got a bite in, so I have a... I immediately got uh, an illness, so that seems seems fair. So antibiotics, and I'm thirsty. So thirsty is not a problem. I can deal with thirsty. Um, and then we have... What is this? Ooh. Ooh. Plasma mines. Don't mind if I do. Plasma mines are really, really good. They killed that assault on uh, on top of court 40, 35 in one go. So definitely keeping those. Just going to reload. I do love the re reload animation on the alien blaster. Just plop that out the side and put a new one in. Okay, moving along the facility. We should be getting to the end. So this seems like the main area of that second vault. Uh, also, it doesn't seem like this would be the area that more rats would be in, but again, something must have happened to the researchers, because this place is completely abandoned and the more rats are running amok. Oh god, okay, that was a loud noise. Are they coming from, yeah, on the left. And there goes another, can you please enable vats, yeah. Okay, did I get hit with a disease? No, okay. Because, of course, survival really sucks at that front. Um, so, more cages. More cages filled with more rats. I think well, most of the more rats... That looked like a brood mother with a bucket on her head. Die! Um. Die, die! Ah. Again, didn't, didn't take an illness there. Um... Ow, again. There it goes. Damn you, God. These guys are really, really aggressive for some reason as well. I don't feel like if they're... Because they were talking about the fact that they were docile, but... Clearly weren't. Clearly weren't. Clearly, clearly weren't docile. Because they've uh, attacked me on sight from the very beginning. Okay, I need to eat. Hi, there it is. I thought I, I had another brood mother that I... And she got another hidden. God damn you. I'm guessing the antibiotics take a while to... Uh, they give you a bit of protection against diseases. Because I haven't been hit by another one. Seamer trunk with just ammo. That is not good. Could have been better because it looked like a very nice vault deck themed uh, steamer trunk there. And this place. Seems like the cure is right there. I'm going to take a look around. There's a stealth boy. That's always nice. So the Vault 81 tech password, that's something. And then the research communications terminal. Okay, so it seems to tell the story of the scientists that were working over here. The interesting thing is that the overseer at that time knew that this was going on. They were breeding mole rats, they were unusually large from the start. Probably because vault was already doing experiments on the mole rats themselves. And eventually one of the scientists decided to not go with the experiment anymore he didn't he or she i'm not exactly sure uh didn't want to go through with the experiment so um he or she decided to turn the virus on the inhabitants of this part of the vault instead of the other part of the vault which made them all die um that does make me wonder whether the current overseer if gwen actually knows that this was happening if the secret was passed along from overseer to overseer or if it just died with the last overseer that was mentioned in these terminals so there we go we can use the password to open up the door which leads us back upstairs and i'm wondering where we're gonna end up here because we still need a cure for the virus oh and this is where they buried the uh the scientists because yeah they turned lockers on their sides and if you check some of the the lockers there's bones in there um, weirdly enough, there's no bones in this one. Just an empty teal barrel face. So maybe it is empty, but it might have been containing ashes. That's 
So definitely somebody survived to put these people in there. Oh, or it was the robot that survived. That would also make sense. Um, let's have a little chat with... The, ooh, it's inaccessible. Hello. Can we talk? Curie. Another stranger. Are you Void Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Uh, yes. It is interesting, because they called the bot Curie after Marie Curie, probably, to uh, invent cures, which is very nice. I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Okay, now the question is, is this robot responsible for the deaths of everybody? You are a Voltec representative. I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. Aha. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. I However, will. However, be advised, there is only one dose left and I can no longer make any more. Oh, that is, that is interesting. That means I, there's probably going to be more people. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. Okay, uh, you, I suppose you can go. I mean, she made the cure. Uh, you can go. You can go. Freedom at long last. Bye, Kiri. Hopefully Kiri. now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Oh, uh, okay. Are, are you my companion then at the moment? That is interesting. But look at that, the medicine bubble head. Stem packs permanently heal 10% more damage. There we go. I'm gonna grab all of that as well. Okay, and then this terminal just confirms what we thought. The goal of this, uh, this vault was to infect people with all kinds of viruses to make one general cure, which they succeeded in, but for some reason we can only make one. And Curie has her own terminal, so let's check that out. So Curie's terminal actually confirms that Dr. Burrow was the last one who died and that he wanted to be cremated and placed in a specified urn, which is why that last uh, locker only had the vase in it. Um, but other than that, there is also Collins' archive. Aha! So Dr. Collins was the second one to die of the three scientists and he basically allowed Curie to evolve on her own. So she's basically an artificial intelligence. She got her first personality traits, but then she was allowed to make decisions on her own. Nobody tampered with that anymore. So she developed her own curiosity towards science and research. So we'll see how that works out with the... Uh, I'll, I'll leave her fate up to the remaining vault dwellers. So this seems to be the final door. And it's an elevator back up. So uh, there we go. And we are back in the main vault, it seems like, because this looks cleaner than it was before. This is closed now, but we can use the terminal to open up the door. There we go. Hello, everyone. Is everyone surprised that I come out of this door? Probably not. Uh, let's have a little chat with the doctors downstairs. So let's focus on our main objective first. We need to bring the cure back to Austin so he has been relieved from his disease, but I feel like there might be another decision coming up. You found it. Uh, yes. Um, we'll split it. How would be? How is Austin doing? How is Austin doing? Do you think he'll survive the cure? He's been unconscious since shortly after you left. Okay, let's give it to Austin Here. then. Take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose. I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. Indeed. Hello, Overseer. Oh, I think Austin is fine. He's just standing upright in his bed. This is a bit weird. Um, Doctor, where are you sticking that? This that was... Be long. <laughs> what? What? What the hell? What? That was... 
your uh, oh, oh, there he is. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee, thanks, ma'am. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head, going into a place like that? Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you this syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. Perfect. It's in the main hall. On the left as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. Can I, go see I hope you enjoy your accommodations. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangers vault tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. Okay, so... Wait a second. Uh, you know vault -Tec, right? What do you know about vault -Tec? I'm afraid not much. I've spent my entire life being thankful for the vault. For the walls that protected us over two centuries. But not once have I had contact with them. So, how did they just realize what happened? I haven't told her that yet, but never mind. vault -Tec did fail. Whatever vault -Tec had planned, it failed and took their entire staff out with it. No arguments here. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here. And I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. There we go. And I suppose that's Vault 81 wrapped up. And I even got a room here, which is nice. Can I now actually pick everything up? Ooh. This is gonna be nice. I'm gonna do this off camera, but I can... I've been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists. Unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. Um, oh, okay, but you could help the vault as well. It sounds like the vault could really use you. Of this, there is no doubt. But I seek to elevate my capabilities, and down here I will stagnate. Please, madame, can you take me with you? Uh, sure. Come along, then. Excellent. We must embark at once. I'm not gonna keep her as a companion, but, uh, ooh, why the hell am I suddenly over-encumbered? Did I get something for the for completing the quest? I mean, I got the syringer, but that oh yeah, okay. Be I lost the lone wanderer per because Curie is with me. Um, can we talk? Can you go to Hangman's Alley? There we go. And now I can walk around again. That's great. Okay, that was a bit weird. Now I need to check out that room. I'll, off screen, I'll probably rate this entire place because this is going to contain a hell of a lot of materials and I can upgrade my power armor with all of that. So what did she say? So on the left when you exit the elevator, I think she said. So if I go to the atrium and then so that's the elevator on the left. No, that's not a room. And that's the depot. Is is this is this my room? Ah, this is my room because it has like the 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 bobblehead collection thing. That is really cool. Um, can I close this door? Thank you. Ooh. So I can transfer the bobbleheads over to here. That doesn't lose me the perks, but that's at least very very cool. And there's a Jangles, the Moon Monkey, and one of the lockers. That is creepy as hell. Um, if I step out. Do I... Am I over encumbered now? I am. Um, I can transfer some of my junk, though. There we go. And with that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Today, we finished up Vault 81, which we even started the same episode. I didn't I didn't think that would happen. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fallout 4 Survival. And when we get back, we're going to continue Louise's adventures. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And hope to see you in the next episode of Fallout 4 Survival. Goodbye.